Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to put together a multiple exposure. There are lots of ways of doing this and I've recorded a much longer video than what I'm going to do today and you can take a look at that if you wanted to kind of expand and uh, kind of improve or at least kind of see what the options are on this multiple exposure. So let's start with our image here. We've got an image with a person and a solid color background. In this case, it's white. It's gonna make our jobs a little easier when we go to try to select this. But let's go ahead and bring in our uh, layer that we're gonna blend into this, the landscape portion. And you're gonna go ahead over here to file and then open and place. We're gonna go ahead and choose the photo that we want. In this case, it's a cityscape. And we're gonna adjust the image size to fit the photo itself. I'm going to hit Control minus to zoom out a little bit and that way I can grab the corner here and expand it without running off the edge of the screen. Now as I grab the corner I want to hold down the shift key and the shift key will make sure that the photo doesn't skew uh, or kind of um, stretch or skew the wrong way. And then I'm going to place it here. It doesn't really matter exactly where. Um, in this case, though, if I wanted to line something up, I could turn the opacity of the layer down. So I go up here to the layer with this layer selected. And let's say I wanted the um, image to be lined up, maybe more in tune with like these taller buildings with this guy's face. You could do that. You could just move that over. So you grab the move tool up here. And then if you wanted to show the transform controls, you would just click the transform controls right there. In this case, I'm actually going to line up that taller buildings with his face and then I'm going to expand this a little bit so I hold the shift key again grab that corner and then while I'm holding the shift key see if you don't hold the shift key it looks like this right it'll let you kind of squeeze it and stretch it and stuff like that we don't want that so I'm going to hold the shift key down and then I think something like this is probably about where I want to be and then I put those taller buildings right in the face area right there when I'm done, I can click this little check mark up here and then I uncheck the transform controls and then I turn my opacity back up to 100. Now the easiest way to do a multiple exposure once you do this is just go here and change the blending mode to soft light. Done. All right, you can be done here. Um, like I said, the longer video that I've made um, goes into some of the other things that you can do to um, get your blending together. Um, especially if you don't have a clear white background like this. Let me show you how to create a layer mask using the person. So let's go and uncheck the visibility here of this layer. Let's actually change it back to normal. Um, but when you click the eyeball next to that layer, it, it basically turns the visibility on or off. Click on the background layer. And actually, I'm going to rename these. So I want to rename this person or portrait. And then I want to rename this layer, you know, landscape or cityscape or something like that. So I can just dis differentiate the layers. All right, so I click on the person layer, and then I've got a couple of tools up here to make selections. And what I would recommend is first and foremost, the object selection tool. Um, this oftentimes will, will work pretty good. And if you, if you kind of click and drag here, and click and drag here, and click and drag here, uh, it's not really working the way that we want, right? If we click and drag like so over the whole thing, it does an okay job, but you can see the edges aren't really what we're looking for. So it's not doing the right job. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to select, deselect. I would not recommend trying it and seeing what happens. But if that doesn't work, try the quick selection tool. And in this case, I'm gonna just kind of click right here on his forehead and then on his shirt. And then this does a pretty good job. So looking at the selection kind of going around here, we can see that the selection works pretty good to select that person. Um, we're going to fine tune it though with the lasso tool. So that's this tool right here, uh, just above the quick select tool. And then I'm going to zoom in. So control plus, 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 plus. And then what I want to do with the, with the lasso tool is any chunks like this that we miss, we hold the shift key down and then we make a little circle like so. And so we can just kind of add to the selection. It doesn't need to be perfect for this project. You can kind of go around. How am I scrolling around the screen like this? Well, by holding the space bar key, you can see that I get the hand grabber tool. So I press and hold space bar and then I kind of use the mouse to click and drag. And I'm just gonna, like I said, do a pretty rough, quick and easy job here. Now the lasso tool, you'll notice I have to loop it around and I go into a little bit more detail in the other video here. We're gonna just add a little bit of this chin right here. The stubble is having a hard time and then you can see the light on the edge. 
So once you've kind of fine-tuned your selection, get these bigger chunks. At the very least, you want these bigger chunks here to be a part of your selection. Using the lasso tool, you could use another tool as well. Um, that doesn't really... matter okay and then once you your selection is fine-tuned what you'll do is click on the city layer now with this selection and if you add a layer mask down here that's this little part right here with this rectangle and circle in it if you click on that it'll create this layer mask so you can um, go ahead and do that so change the opacity of the layer now by dragging that opacity down here's another way that you can do this multiple exposure